There will be spoilers of Hardcore Henry, so if you haven't seen it and you don't want to spoil it, don't watch the video. Click off the video now. Yeah. So give us an explanation of what Hardcore Henry is. Um, Hardcore Henry is a Russian-American sci-fi film that is completely shot in first person. And this is really the first time that first person has come to action movies. And I really have to stress the action movie part because this is an action movie. Yes. Uh, because, you know... If you just say, oh, it's shot in first person, then, you know, Cloverfield comes to mind. Blair Witch Project comes to mind. But, no, this this is something... No, it's not someone recording with the camera. It's, it's like you're the guy. It's the yeah, the it's, it is a roller coaster, is what it and, is. And if, you, if you've seen the trailer, it is almost nothing like the trailer. The trailer yeah. makes it seem just like a run-of-the-middle action movie. Yeah. It is not. The, the trailer doesn't do it justice. It makes, it makes people underestimate the movie. Yeah. But, so, continuing with a little bit about the film, the the director had tried for, like, two years to try and get this film to, mm -hmm. to, to sell in Hollywood, and nobody would buy it, but finally it came out. We just got back from sawing it, you'd say, what, maybe about an hour ago? About an hour ago, yeah, we yeah. saw the movie. Um, but, uh, we, we came in thinking, you know, it's just going to be a good action film, but... Action porn, yeah. It was like a homicide porn. Yeah, there's. there's if you're squeamish, don't go. Don't see go it. see it. It's very yeah. gory. A lot of blood. A lot uh, of. Uh, each kill is different. Yeah, each kill, and there's like, how many deaths do you think? Oh, I'm there's asking? there's. Over two hundred probably. Ah, uh, let's see here. Well. Maybe. He burns the one guy to death. He electrocutes another group of guys. He uses, like, five d grenades in, like, different scenes. Yeah, yeah, he, he blows some dudes up. He feeds one dude through a fan. He decapitates another one. Mm -hmm. But, okay, I'll, I'll ask you, and then I'll give you mine. All right. What is your favorite kill? My favorite kill is definitely the part when he kills his wife. Because... You know, she said it, he. She said she was his wife and everything, and that drove him to. I mean, he didn't understand. He didn't have any memories, but yeah. that drove him to. You know, to such great lengths. Yeah. And then when at the end of the movie, when he finally finds out, she is married to the main enemy. Yeah, to the, the to the bad guy. Yeah, and uh, bad guy. You get great to, scene. and he kills her. I keep wanting to say you get to kill her like it's a video game. Yeah. He, he kills her. Yeah. And it's so rewarding. Uh, What's your favorite? My favorite has got to be the part where he picks up the AK with the underbarrel grenade launcher and he shoots it, mm. and the grenade gets stuck inside the dude, and he blows up, and there's just chunks everywhere. Like it's it's crazy. But what about the part whenever he uh, he takes his eyeball out and oh. then he wraps it around the main enemy's neck and he. Basically yeah. decapitates yeah, him with yeah, the yeah. strain he, of his eyeball. He that was insane. He because because you know he's he's cyborg. He's a robot. Yeah. yeah. But because that's the whole premise of the movie is this one guy, the the main bad guy. He is trying to make super soldiers, and so mm -hmm. Henry is like, oh no, we can't do that. You're you're a bad person for doing this. And that that final kill is that was crazy. They're all really good. It's each kill is different and. Every fight scene is choreographed extremely well. The thing to remember going into this is this is something that has never been done before. Yeah, this it's very rare. Yeah, it's the because rarest, there's yeah. there's never there's never been a first person action film. Mm -hmm. It's 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 extremely rare, and that's why you have to be a little lenient about you know at least I think you should be because you know. The, the crew of this film decided to do something that nobody's really thought about doing. Mm -hmm. And I would imagine that that's a pretty scary task. A pretty, yeah. a pretty it's, You don't know task. if it's going to sell because you could tell if you watch this movie they spent a lot of money on effects and everything. For, for them to be such a small like, yeah small uh, production company but they they the CGI was the CGI was 
beautiful. It was. It wasn't that like. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. You couldn't really tell. Like there was one part at the start of the film where I was like, "That's that's yeah. kind of," but it. I don't know. It just it's it's the the score wasn't. The score is probably the worst, I guess you could say, effect of the movie. The other, score? Uh, like, yeah. I th other, th other than when they played it could have been better. Other than when they played better. that Queen song, I mean, yeah. it's it still gets you into the action. Don't yeah. get me wrong. It's just, it's just. If I had to pick one department that was lacking, whether it be choreography, plot, um, special effects, mm -hmm. music score, it's it's the music, it's the music score. score. Now, this doesn't include the sounds of everything. The sounds were great. Yeah. The, Bullets, the shots. A except for except for, and every movie is flawed in this. But whenever yeah. they pull out a gun, it makes the sound of it cocking, and that, mm -hmm. that we'll talk about that later. Also, they used probably everyone's favorite screaming death sound, the Wilhelm yes, scream. Yes, they found a way to put the Wilhelm scream in there. And if you don't know what that is, there'll be a link below. But. Yeah, and and the thing is, it's not just one of those things where. The hero has unlimited bullets. You know, he never takes damage. Like you, he you see him, not necessarily you see him struggling. Not necessarily, not necessarily. You see him because it's again shot in first person. But you see him load guns. You see him, you know, put weapons down, pick weapons up. You mm -hmm. see him change clothes. You see him walking, running. You, you, you see him hiding. The whole the whole movie, like the only thing driving the plot forward. Is the plot itself? There are no, you know, there is no day. There is no day sex magna. There is nothing there yeah. that that just magically happens to move the plot forward. Yeah, everything. Al al although that one, that one time where you thought that it was gonna with the horse. Yeah, where you thought that that was gonna happen. There are a lot of comedic scenes in this movie as well. Like whenever there are times that make it seem epic, it just ends like hilariously. The guy has. This is the longest streak of bad luck I've ever seen in a human being. He's not—I don't think he's human, but he, he's part human. He's a uh, according to the uh, the wiki. Uh, according to no, I was gonna say according to that to the one guy in the film, he's half machine, half pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, half machine, half pussy. Yeah, but it, it's there's a lot more there than just action, because and I was gonna say like like if 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 I had to complain about this movie, like I. I can't find a complaint, but if I had to, it would be, you know, the thing with the, the sound effects with the guns that I've already mentioned, but every movie pretty much is flawed mm -hmm. with that. Yeah. TV shows are flawed with that. It'd be that, it'd be the music score seems like it's a little lacking, and it would be the fact that, like, you know, whenever he's standing still, he doesn't necessarily seem like a person at that point. He does just feel like a camera. Because, because I mean, you're 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 not gonna like just look at the person the entire time. You might, but it, your your eyes are gonna be moving, your head's gonna be moving. But they they redeem that whenever there's a scene in the movie, he gets like beat half to death, and one and eye is looking never, one way like, and yeah. one eye's looking the other. Yeah, like if it and they if it they split it to where because it's in you know it's him First and they person, split yeah. it so you can and also like so say I the guy gets on that. Yeah, say the guy gets punched, the camera's gonna swing that way. Yeah, it's yeah. it's. The camera work was. It is a roller coaster. It guides you through it, but in ways you would not expect. Yeah. So, except in a roller coaster, you expect what's gonna happen. <laughs> you can see ahead. Yeah. But this was uh, like the. No. There, there was one point where we thought the movie was going to just end. end. Yeah. And because it, they made it seem like it, the screen just cut the black and then the sound faded, and it, we're because like it, it I we kind of understood it because. The scene it looks like it just ended. Like he died. We thought he died, but he uh, they, he got brought back by this really interesting main character, like the Jimmy. Jimmy, yeah. Jimmy finds Henry running for his life, and he gets in the car with Jimmy, and they just start driving. And Jimmy gets shot in the head from the this. Guy this is him. this is five minutes into the movie. Yeah, Jimmy gets shot in the head, and so. If you just introduce the character, you don't want to kill them off immediately. And this guy was going to help uh, Henry out and everything. And he gets shot just in the head. Dead. And then we think, okay, well, how's, how else is Henry going to survive? He leaves the car. He's running through the subway, running like at, as the cops chase him. And hides out on a bus. Hides out on a bus. And then this hobo comes walking by. He sits down. He's like, 
hey, it's me, Jimmy. And we're like, what? <laughs> it, like, we literally just saw like, your brains get, get blown out blown all over the windshield. Window. Yeah. yeah. And there you are. And then, and then that Jimmy gets caught on fire. Yeah. And then this cleaner guy, like, from, uh, from the division. From the division. Uh, wearing the, wearing destiny like titan armor yeah he just comes <laughs> in with Rimmel a flamethrower yeah <laughs> that's what it looks like he comes in with a flamethrower and burns the burns bus. the bus and we were able to jump out not we i keep thinking that henry, <laughs> henry. gets able to jump out you're henry i'm henry we're all, <laughs> we all henry um and then you see jimmy crawling out of the bus and he's on fire and okay that's the end of that like i guess he's arrived he didn't clearly the gunshot should have killed him which it did and the fire killed him. Uh, now, where else were, where, did we go? Uh, did, uh, he, he, okay, yeah. Jimmy keeps calling Henry, and he, somehow he's still alive yeah. after all of these ordeals. And then, what's, what's the next encounter? Was it the sniper? Yeah, that was the one where, where Jimmy finds him on the street, and he gets his head blown off by a fifty cal. Yeah. But that wasn't the sniper, it was a different one. I, there's like a different form of uh, there's Jimmy there's a future. there's a third Jimmy that dies and then the fourth one is, is a sniper is is, is a, Jimmy is a sniper and then they meet at a location and then Jimmy walks him walks Henry up to his lab and and it, and it explains why this has been happening and it's really it's mind interesting but it's, it's cool like you see all Jimmy's clones just walk out and Jimmy. He's he's stuck in a wheelchair. He has like polio and everything. He's disabled. Yeah. And, but and he whenever he puts on like his mask that he wears, he he could activate like a one of he, his clones. He can jump into a different cyborg of himself that he built. Yeah. And each one has a different personality. Like there's one that's that's like a punk rocker type. There's a British soldier. There's one that's a Brit like a British SAS member. There's one that's a uh, like an American sniper type, like with the ghillie outfit and everything. And then there's one that's a homeless dude, the one that got burned. Mm -hmm. the, the the hippie. Yeah. He just has all these guys that help out. Yeah, there's, the hippie was the uh, was the third one. The hippie was the third one. Yeah. Yeah, because he get hit, by, he got hit by a mortar strike, like. Yeah. <laughs> um. The hippies, the hippie cyborgs girlfriend died, and that's the only time that the oh. sentence will ever make sense. A lot of Jimmy's. <laughs> a lot of Jimmy's. <laughs> Jimmy's died were wrestled. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we're wrestled. <laughs> yeah, man. No, but that's that's something. That was that, a really nice mechanic that they had. Yeah, because the well, you don't see it coming. Because mm -hmm. after I feel like the second or third Jimmy, we were like, you have double game. Uh, yeah, we're like, like, he's got to have these are clones. So, but no, what I, I'll tell you. This, I'll, I'll tell you what bothers me the most. Other than the music score seemed like it was lacking, and ooh, big deal. That tank. Yeah, he, this, okay, whenever, whenever the hippie gets killed, the camera swings and there's a T-90 driving at him. The T-90 driving at him. What's he do to... He, he, his, uh, the hippie cyborg's girlfriend had a katana. Yeah. And he literally jumps onto the tank and just starts and taking the he, dudes like out of the side. The, the view, the viewing hole in the T-90, he just jabs the sword and kills that guy. And then a guy tries climbing out of the tank, he decapitates him. And then, and then he hops in the tank and sticks the sword through the guy's, uh, the trigger hole on Yeah, the, the, uh, the trigger guard. And then he slowly saws his head off. It's insane. Yeah, but then he leaves the tank. And yeah, he leaves really the tank. Me. He doesn't use it. He, that's what bothered me, is he, leaves the, he, he left the tank behind, but... But it didn't really matter at that point. He was meeting up with the uh, ghillie suit Jimmy, which would take him to his lab. So. Yeah, but it it's it's so much more than just action because There's actually it actually a has a plot. You you never saw his wife's betrayal coming. There, the way they set it up, um, there was no prologue to it, which and, is fine. Yeah, because it's about what's happening at this point. Yeah, and and the main bad guy, you don't know. About his secret power, which mm -hmm. I don't know if we should... He, he has, like... Uh, it will spoil it anyways. He has force powers. Yeah. And all throughout the movie, whenever uh, Henry tries to attack, he pushes him back or throws something at him. See, I think the best analogy for that is anybody who has seen Samurai Jack, it's almost like when Samurai Jack goes to fight Aku mm -hmm. and Aku just flies away or whatever. It's sort of like that. But, like, the, there's, like, the final fight scene where the main bad guy, his name's Akan... Akan has this massive cyborg army that he's built, and 
Henry will fight a few of them and then get close enough to Akan and then he'll just, nope, get out of here. And force push him back into the crowd of cyborg robots. Mm -hmm. But but you, you don't see that coming. You don't see his wife's betrayal coming, which I thought was so interesting. Yeah. So the way they, there they were, the enemy was, uh, the, the boss really was making a clone army to he, of cyborgs. And the way he, they he, got... He literally turned on his own men and, like, shot them on the back of the head just so he could turn them into cyborgs. Yeah. He killed That's all That's hardcore. Men, so then he could turn them into cyborgs. Um, the way they tricked the cyborgs into uh, fighting for the guy was... Uh, Henry's wife was everyone else's wife. So whenever they woke up from their sleep and their, like, their building phase... Um, she basically said that, you know, it, it's basically the entire you're, you're, intro of the film. If the, the, the cyborgs are fighting to get their wife back because they made it look like a con kidnapped their wife, which now looking back at it... Maybe it's like... Wasn't, wasn't very smart because then the robot would... It's, yeah, the cyborg so maybe, would maybe want to... But they, maybe they seem like a cyborg was trying to steal their wife. I, I suppose. Or, I guess or, I, I, he did... Cut that part off at the end, though. Yeah, there are a lot of uh, unanswered questions that we had. The, 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 my, my whole thing is that, like, after he kills Akan, it's just him and his wife in this helicopter because mm -hmm. he goes after her next. And she shoots him a bunch of times. And he blocks one of the bullets with his metal hand and it ricochets and hits her. Mm -hmm. And and she's like, she's like, she does, like, She's, sort of like a snapped like, out of thing and she's yeah, like she's Henry like, what's going on yeah you love me and, like, and, and follow your she heart she falls and stuff. out of the helicopter so I, and hangs on yeah and so and, and that's then she's the, like follow your heart and that's when he kills her he slams, slams the door, the door to the helicopter and and but that's what down. that's what is really getting me is like was what, what was her name did she have a hit yeah like it started with an E. With it's like I don't remember the wife. Well, I'll just refer to her. As yeah. Me. So Henry's wife, Henry's wife, Henry slash Akon's wife. I guess you could say. After she's like, Henry, what are you doing? I thought you loved me. What's going on? That makes me wonder. Like if if he can create a cyborg army, why could he not clone her or trick her into? That's what I was thinking. Cause their his clone army is so massive, and you get to see every one of their deaths. Like, you may think yeah. that it's just going to be a quick fight scene, but it's a long, it, thought out. It's done. like the fight scene between uh, like so Uma Therma, I was going to say yes. Uma Therma and the, Kill Bill, yeah. yeah. And the, Kill what, Bill, what was it, the uh, Crazy, crazy, crazy 88, 88 yeah, like that, Crazy yeah. 88, where you see every single one of them. Now, you know, it's, there, is, there are a couple parts where, like, oh, a handful of them die by a grenade blast. Yeah. But you see every single one of their faces. Mm -hmm. And then they show it well enough that, oh, that one died by a grenade blast. Yeah. You know? But that's just the thing that gets me is, was it really Henry's wife or was it really a Khan's wife or what's going on here? Yeah, and back to the point where she's, where we, I, I thought she was cloned because, yeah, whenever the cyborgs woke up from their, their sleep or building phase, she acted like she was their wife. Attached to them. Yes. So how... Oh, wait, no. Actually, I, no, my mistake. Remember they uploaded his memories to her? Yeah, but... But, like, but how she do they said, translate that? But she said their... She yeah, said, said their, their name. specific said their name, name, though. Yeah. That, that's confusing. Wait, that's unanswered. That's an unanswered question. You would you would have to... Because the foot, the video footage was the same to each and every one. Mm -hmm. but, so unless she, unless she was able to act it to a T, like, every single muscle movement to a T, everything like that, there would That's, have to be, there'd have to it's be. It's just great editing and everything, like, yeah. everything about the movie. You get way more, you get way more than just a bunch of action. It's, it's not just an action movie, it's, I don't know what to call it, it's, well, I'm gonna have to say it's, it's got my nomination for movie of it's, the year. It's, uh, All right. if you want to see Sean struggle, just look at him and say, Kingsman or Hardcore Henry, and... He just breaks down inside, and he doesn't know which to choose. Kingsman was the movie for last year. Hardcore Henry's the Hardcore movie Henry for this year. Hardcore Henry is this year, yeah. But Kingsman 2 is coming out. Kingsman 2 is The Golden out. Circle, and Galahad's coming back. Reports of my death have been greatly, greatly exaggerated. exaggerated. Galahad's coming back. How did he die again? 
He was the one he was, he was in the church. In the, in the church. In the and he came out and, and then... Yeah, Valentine shot him in the head. Yeah. Yeah. He is coming back, dude. I I don't mean to get off topic, but it comes out next year. Okay. I'm yeah. calling it King Best Movie. Best Movie. For 2017, Kingsman 2. Kingsman 2, yeah. Uh, but 2016, Hardcore Henry. Well, hold on. As of right now, the best movie for 2016 is Hardcore Henry. Because you got to think, Rogue One comes out in December. I'm not... No, Hardcore Henry is, is 2016. <laughs> Star Wars wasn't even 2015 for me. Rogue One looks better than Seven. Force Awakens. See, I don't know the lore behind Rogue One. I don't know anything about it. Rogue One is just what happens between three and four, so they get the Death Star plans. Oh. And they need to do Rogue. They need to do Rogue Two. Uh, that's not a real thing, but Rogue Two in between five and six, which is how the Bothans got the plans for the Death Star Two. Yeah. Many Bothans died to bring us this information. Who cares? <laughs> he, he just, Anyways, we're getting off topic. He, he's I'm not that big of a Star Wars fan. He's breaking fact, down on the I'm inside. excited this year for Star Trek. <laughs> I'm a Star Trek fan. Get over it. Uh, um, one to ten. What do you give it? Ten. That was you give it a ten. Fantastic movie. There are a few movies you give a ten to. What are those movies? Kingsman Kingsman and Hardcore Henry. Hardcore Henry and Star Trek Into Darkness. Uh, It was good. I liked it. Hardcore Henry is also definitely a ten for me. I give The Hurt Locker a ten out of ten. I've only seen it once. I I give Hurt Locker a ten out of ten. So if you we'll create a list of 10 out of 10 movies. Yeah. And put it in the description. And you guys can just have a field day. Hopefully the next few videos we make are going to be sketches. So yeah, comedy sketches. They're going to be action and comedic sketches cuz Zach wants to do a action sequence. A bunch Who of Here's what Zach wants. He has Zach for you. It's sticky ass. He has he has his own show. That we need to expand upon. Openly name calling other members of the combatants on a video we're going to upload because that's how hardcore we are. And if you guys, <laughs> Henry is my role model. And if you guys are familiar with uh, Filthy Frank, we plan on doing a Batsu game. We don't exactly know what it's going to be based around, but we're going to do a Batsu game, which is high stakes betting. If yeah. you lose, you're going to die. <laughs> yeah. So. But, uh, I guess that about wraps it up. Yep. So, have a good day.